And now if we turn the clear one back on, you can see in the background we do have that one back there. I want to go ahead and go to Colorize, and I want to turn this solid black. Um, and then we'll go back to Colorize, so Colors, Colorize, and then we'll turn the lightness up, saturation up, and we'll try and color match that blue the best that we can. So somewhere like, uh, like that maybe. Turn it up a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. Now, uh, this, this is a little off, so we'll do this again. Blur, zoom, and down at the bottom, I want there to be more blur at the bottom. So we'll turn the center Y down a little bit. Um, so that looks, that, looks, that looks pretty good. We'll hit OK on that one as well. So that looks good. Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to turn this to a couple of different layers. We'll see what looks best. I think we're going to do, if I want to do screen, we can't because everything behind it is so bright. If I were to turn... Yeah, everything behind is so bright, I'm not going to be able to do screens. So we'll have to do something else. We'll do, um, not hard light. Hard light doesn't look good. Uh, green merge might look good, but only if we, let's do this. Let's go ahead and with our brush, with a soft brush, we'll use the smudge tool here and we'll just pull out pieces of this um of this uh, uh, blurred background here and I want to go ahead and make sure it goes out in every direction um, something like this yeah and I think I think I have an idea of what to do with this so we're gonna go ahead and, and drop that opacity down and we're gonna turn it to we're gonna turn it to eh, you know what I want to do I have an idea all right let's see let's get rid of that let's get rid of that I want to go ahead with our brush I want to select, we'll hit the eyedrop tool here, and we'll go to the, the logo here, and we'll just grab that blue color, uh, add a new layer below that logo layer, go to the brush tool with a soft brush, we'll just kind of draw in some, ooh, underneath the, the background, underneath we'll just go ahead and we'll just draw in some blue lines here, some random fashions, you know, something like that, and we'll go ahead, filters, Gaussian blur, Turn that size up, blur those up up a little bit. Uh, looks good. Yep. And then we'll go to normal screen. So now we have a little bit of screen. We can turn that opacity down a little bit. Um, looks good. All right. So on a new layer, we'll go ahead and just do some more effects. We'll hit this little uh, black and white icon to change the colors to black and white. Go back to our brush. Um, turn the brush size up a little bit. Uh, we'll just add in a couple of white. Uh, dots in some various locations and I think on instead of this this blue right here I want to turn this halfway and turn it from screen to overlay so that it looks a bit more blue in there which looks good we'll uh, go back to the white layer here um, and then we'll go to we'll go to we'll go to black and then in the other places we did not put those white dots so right now we have this um, we'll go ahead and put some black in some areas like that it looks good uh, and right there as well a little bit so you've probably seen this before go ahead and turn that back on um, all right so and then we'll turn those black and white dot layers to overlay and now we'll turn that down to a little bit more than 70 percent now you can see the difference that gives all right so we got some pretty good looking stuff so far I want to go ahead and give this banner uh, logo uh, font a little bit more visibility and we're gonna do that by a couple of things we could do let's go ahead and get rid of some of this highlight that we have in the center here. I want to go ahead and erase. So we'll get rid of all that highlight that we that we put in the center. We'll drop that down so we don't. That's not in the way anymore. Um, now this background, I kind of want to get rid of this this middle piece. I just want to erase it. So we'll go ahead and just erase. Use the erase tool and just erase all this because I don't want it. I don't want any of this because this is just too much of a tealy blue color um, and it's too close to the white. So we'll just erase all that. It's like that. Don't have to worry about it being faded away because I want it to be faded away. I would have just went in and I would have cut it out, but then the edges would be too sharp and I don't want that. So we'll go ahead and duplicate this uh, 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 erased part that we just did. And I want to actually go ahead and erase more of that. Just a bigger brush size. We'll erase more of it. And then something like that. Looks good. And uh, on the... Piece, pieces that we erase more of. So this layer right here, see we erase a lot of it. I want it to be, I want the fade to be like really super extreme. Um, and then on that layer, we'll go ahead and go to curves, brighten it, darken the darks here, 
And what I'll do is I'll go to uh, filters, Gaussian blur. And we'll, oh, nope. Uh, what I want to do also, there's pieces up here that you can't see that we got to fix up because um, I want all of that to be gone and this as well so you can see a little bit of that uh, below the black which is fine because we'll fix that in a second so now on this this one that's like super faded away I want to go ahead and uh, filters Gaussian blur turn the size up to like five maybe hit OK on that and now we can turn that other layer back on and then with with that uh, with the with the blurred one I want to go ahead and duplicate it again turn both of the other ones off grab the erase tool turn it up to a huge size again erase all of that right erase all that top and bottom as well all that down there you can see we got a little bit of weird stuff going on down there too and I want to go ahead and filters blur Gaussian blur and we'll blur that even more by like 10 percent 10 pixels maybe looks good now we can turn both of those other ones back on so now we have a little bit of the depth of field kind of thing going on I want to merge both of the blurred layers together. So both of those merge down and we'll turn the other layer back on the clear one. And then I want to turn the opacity of the blurred ones down a little bit. So it's just a little bit foggy. You see in there. I also want to go ahead and change the mode to maybe screen. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. All right. That looks good. Uh, maybe I'll turn the percent up to like 7.6, 776 point eight yeah that's good all right so with the other pictures that we have uh, I want to go ahead and grab this picture or maybe this picture let's see which one do I want I didn't know which one I wanted before which is why I grabbed both of them keep um, and we'll put this back there I think it's gonna be this one we'll go ahead and scale it down to just the center I think it's gonna be this one um, maybe we'll do a combination of both oh now that we're grabbing that one I want to go ahead and put this up so we can grab it and then Right there, so the, I don't want the ground to over, uh, uh, you know, connect with the the text. It looks strange, so we'll go ahead and do something like that. Put that beneath everything. Um, I think maybe a combination of both. We'll do it like a double exposure. Maybe we'll we'll drag the other one in as well, um, and scale that one down too, um, and turn that one to screen. Maybe. Maybe I'll turn the other one to screen. So let's put the uh, the Aurora Borealis looking one over top of that and then we'll hit screen on that yeah maybe perhaps okay yeah sure I like that that's fine um, now with uh, with the with this guy right here the the trees and stuff I wanna brighten it so cu curves brighten it darken the darker pieces take any of that red out of there take any of that green boost it a little bit uh, I, I, I take it out sorry boost the blue colors a little bit hit okay on that and then with the Aurora, we'll go ahead, uh, curves, brighten it, darken it, taking that red out, taking that green out, <laughs> boost the blues, boost the blues a lot for this one. Maybe I want to put a little bit of green in this one. Yeah, I'll put a little bit of the green back in this one up at the top there. And then down at the bottom, we'll get rid of any of the darker green colors. All right, so I hit overlay on that, then we'll turn... I hit OK on that, sorry, then we'll turn this back to screen, hit the other layer back on, that looks good. Actually, I think I want to, let's do, let's undo that green, that's a little too vibrant, we'll do that, yeah. Um, curves, we'll hit last use, the preset, we'll hit last use, and we'll just get rid of the screen, we'll hit reset channel on the green, then hit OK, turn the other layer back on, make sure this is back on screen, yeah, that's better, much better, alright, sweet, okay, cool, looking good, I like it, uh, what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and grab... Uh, the other images I have, so I have this te texture which looks super cool. Keep, and it's an icy texture. Go ahead and put that all the way up to the top right there. It's an icy texture which I thought looked pretty cool. We'll scale it down all the way until it's the size of our text. We'll hit scale, and then I want to go ahead and turn this on overlay, um, and uh, drop the opacity down a little bit, and then we'll duplicate our text once again. Move it down, turn it off. And then we'll merge the texture with the text right there. So now the, the, the text has that cool texture on it, which looks really sweet. I want to go ahead and grab that same texture again. And I want to put that over top of the entire thing. Um, so we'll scale it down to about the size of the canvas. Uh, actually, wait, no. I want to do a little bit more than the size of the canvas because I want to rotate it.